Extracting a tooth can be one of the most complicated and unpredictable parts of a dental practice, especially if the coronal part of the tooth has fractured off in the case of decay or internal resorption. Today we're going to talk about an easy way and predictable way to extract those tooth roots without having to remove facial or lingual bone. Local anesthesia is applied and in this case because of internal resorption we knew the coronal aspect of the tooth would be lost and the root would remain in the alveolar process. Once that happens, if necessary, you must flatten the tooth to slightly above the gum line with a burr. I first measured the root with our digital uh, imaging system and with the first drill, I'm placing an endo stop on the drill at the predetermined length. I don't want the drill to go past the apical end of the uh, root. Then use the specially designed easy extract pilot drills to create a canal inside the root. Use a lot of water and place the drill right in the, the uh, root canal. This is slow speed dental handpiece and you start with the white drill then use the red drill and finish with the blue drill. Move it up and down like I'm doing here several times to completely bore out the canal. This is the second drill, which is the red drill, and then we'll finish with the blue drill. And these drills have different diameters and uh, different lengths. Use the ratchet to place the selected extract screw in the root. Place one finger on the extract screw head to stabilize the screw. Turn the extract ratchet clockwise. Placement of the easy extract screw is completed when the screw thread is fully inserted to the root, to the shoulder. And here I'm trying the tray on to the screw. You want the tray to seat on the screw until the slash in the side of the screw becomes visible. And that means it's seated far enough so the jaws of the easy extractor can fit completely around the head of the screw. Load the suitable easy extract impression tray either the left or the right with a fast setting heavy body type registration material. Only apply the bite registration material on the four dots at each end of the impression tray. Place the loaded impression tray on the tooth row guiding the extract screw through the center hole. Place the jaws of the easy extractor between the surface of the impression tray and the head of the extract screw. You want to be sure the jaws of the extractor completely surround the head of the extract screw. Slowly turn the handle screw of the extractor to open the jaws. You'll feel slight axial force resistance. The tooth is successfully extracted upon release of the periodontal ligament around the tooth. Then you just remove the extractor and lift off the extract protector. Thank you all so much for joining us for this episode of the Dental Minute with Dr. Stephen T. Cutbirth. Next week is part two of this video where we will be showing you how to place an implant at the time of tooth extraction. So make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next week.